Hello there. We're going to do some circles today. A bit more. This is going to be the last lesson on circles. As you can tell, I'm so excited about this. I'm going to introduce you to problem solving. Um, we have already done labeling, area, circumference, problem solving. So arcs is going to be theta over 360 times uh, 2 pi r. And then sectors theta over 360 times pi r squared. So the difficult, more difficult problems are questions where, for example, you're given the perimeter or the arc length or the area, and then you have to basically do them in reverse. Um, they don't deviate too much. And also the shapes can be combined into horrendous things which are really exciting to work with. I'm sure you will have a lot of fun with this worksheet, this final worksheet here. So let's just uh, do an example here. The area of this sector um, shown in the diagram is eight pi, determine the radius. So you know the formula for areas, um, theta over 360 times pi r squared. All you do is substitute the values in and then rearrange. So in this case, you can cancel the pi's out straight away. You can simplify the fractions. So you end up with, if you just cancel those out, you end up with two over nine r squared equals eight, and then you just rearrange. So eight times nine divided by two, square rooted, and then you get six. Um, another type of example here, the arc length. So this time you've given, been given the arc length and you've been told is five pi, determine its area. So, in this case, theta over 360 times 2 pi r, we know r is 6, that will give you the arc length, which is 5 pi, and then you rearrange. Now, you can write 2 times 6 as 12, but then you can also write it as 12 over 1, just to make it a bit easier to process this. And then you can cancel 12 and 360, because they go into each other, and then you get a nice answer, theta equals 150. Now we're looking for the area. So now that you found the angle, you can label it as 150 degrees. And then you use the area formula, which you already know. So 150 over 360 times pi r squared, and then you get 15 pi. That's the exact answer. And it says answer in terms of pi. Another way that question might say that is give the exact answer. Uh, that is the only examples I'm going to do for this, because I think you guys can do um, exercise two. Um, you should be able to do all of the questions. Question 11, which you can just about see here, um, it's going to be an extension. You can try it. Now I have all of the full solutions given to you on the PDF with the mark scheme. They're not, not all of the working out, but the marks are all there. So when you do this worksheet, um, make sure to mark exercise two. This is the most important worksheet that you'll do with this topic for now. And that is going to be the only worksheets that I set on top of the ones I've set already for this week. I will see you guys next week. Wow.